get that? No, that's for you. It's your death call. I'm not taking another one. heartstrings hope you're doing really well this week um personally I'm fresh off hereditary I guess by the time you're watching this one it's gonna be the video that I did a couple weeks ago and I have never had an experience following a movie like the one I have had following hereditary <laughs> I understand that many of you are very very versed in horror y'all know I am still a 101 a 201 student at best okay I'm not a PhD in horror I can't even describe the ramifications that jumping into the deep end has had on me <laughs> I've been afraid of the dark for the first time since literally I can remember like even when I was little I don't remember being that terrified of the dark you know I kind of would just like if I was feeling a little antsy about the dark I'd be like girl get a grip just don't look around <laughs> but at this point in my big age I am literally walking into rooms and immediately flipping lights on like I do. <sighs> regardless I'm able to accept that the film is excellent but I will never revisit it and I am moving on with my life and this week I really 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 wanted to watch something hilarious and upbeat. I've been really wanting to do movies for this month that have been on the list for a long time that y'all have been waiting for and that we've been working our way up to and so I decided on Scary Movie 2. However, one of the only films on the list that y'all told me is parodied in Scary Movie 2. We gotta get through the ring first which I know is a spooky one. So let me tell you something about my relationship to The Ring. First off this movie came out in 2002. It stars Naomi Watts. This movie was the first, if I'm remembering correctly, this was the first official PG-13 movie that my big sister went and saw in the theater. <laughs> she came back from this movie that her friends had suggested and that she went along with so traumatized she was so jumpy for literally months after watching this movie like her little heart was scarred and it imprinted on my own psyche as something i never wanted to witness just because like if my big sister can't handle it i know for sure i will be buried <laughs> here i am it's been a long time i am a grown woman for all my life i have avoided this film <laughs> But this week I'm gonna give it a go. I'm aware that these are the same words I used before hereditary eviscerated my soul, but I'm still alive, aren't I? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So <laughs> I'm hoping to level up and be that much stronger again this week and hopefully this one is not that bad. Really, I'm really hoping it's not that bad. We are going to get into this film that's been on the list for a long time. It's another wish fulfillment and yeah. Oh, PG-13. I can handle this. I know. I'm, I'm confident. I hate television. It gives me headaches. <laughs> you know, I heard there's so many magnets. Amber Tamblin! Because of TV and telephones. Like, all the molecules in our heads are all unstable. All the companies know about it, but they're not doing anything about it. It's a big conspiracy. Girl. Don't you have some pants to travel? You heard about this videotape that kills you when you watch it? You start to play it, and it's like somebody's nightmare. And as soon as it's over, your phone rings. Someone knows you've watched it. What they say is, you will die in seven days. Uh, okay. And exactly seven days later, I helped you. What's your problem? Do you know about this? It's a story, Katie. No, me and Josh, we saw it last weekend. Some of his friends got this this place up in the mountains. They were trying to record a football game. The reception was so bad. What are you talking about? Listen to me! <laughs> we played the tape, the I'm game was it there. I thought it was some kind of sick joke. Well, it is a sick I'm joke. Hungry. But I think they're serious. Oh, good night. You're just trying to scare me. Oh. Oh, okay. oh. Pointing too much again. You bitches do too much. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? I don't I don't answer the phone for no space. Every residence. Hi mom. Both of you 
bitches are so dumb. I won't shed a tear when your demise arrives. Ugh, you gonna get them little bang highlights snatched by the devil. Unfortunate. You shouldn't joke around so much. Not about devilish things. Becca, quit it! <laughs> oh! A phantom of some sort. It looked like a heat wave. Oh, it's hungry. Where is your stupid bitch friend? Becca, can you hear me? I don't even know that I would check. At best, she's ruining your hardwoods. A bitch of a friend. And at worst, she's dead in there. Why would the knob be dripping? Her face turned zombie-like. Oh, a child. <sighs> Girl, punctilious prick, you're at a school. <laughs> Shit. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. No worries. No worries? Hardly. He certainly is very independent, isn't he? I know that Aiden recently lost his cousin. Yes, and I'm doing what I can to find him some good daycare. I know they were very close. Did he talk to you about her death? Like you said, he's not the talkative type. That doesn't mean he has nothing to say. He knows I'm there. Girl. Yes, I'm sure he does. I'd like to show you something. Like, he's not an adult. He'll come to me if he needs me. Get it together, bitch! <laughs> it's Katie. I'm bothered by these drawings. Your thumb be in. He's just trying to deal with it. Yes, I understand okay. that these pictures are Aiden's way of working it out. Working it out? Expressing himself, like you said. Okay, but that should be accompanied with guidance from an adult. <laughs> you say she died three nights ago. Yeah, that's right. Aiden drew these last week. Get it together. Your son is giving devil child. He's either possessed by one, being visited by one. I don't know what it is, but you need to figure it out, girl. Stop cussing on the phone and be a mother. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Or a beautiful nightmare. You don't have enough time. What do you mean? Oh, honey, I know I've been working a lot. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about time before we die. <laughs> you have lots of time. Do you know when I'm going to die? No. Oof, I don't like how he isn't blinking. <laughs> Kaden knew. She said she didn't have enough time. Isn't that Rachel? Are you not disturbed to the very core of your bones? I couldn't just turn off the light and leave. <laughs> I couldn't. Honey! Have you seen my black dress? <gasps> Why is he such a grown a man? Why is he taking care of you? I hate to see that shit. <laughs> I hate to see that. I know kids in general just want to be helpful, but that's too much. He's taking on a parent role. <laughs> it's like he knows he has to be the responsible one. I don't like that. <laughs> it's as if he's 50 years old, truly. I spoke to three different doctors and not one of them could tell me exactly what happened to my daughter. That's terrifying. Very sad. She but it was a demon. Was close. She confided in you. You can't explain it. She never said anything. You can't obtain Nothing it. Would explain what happened. You can find out. It's what you do, isn't it? Ask questions. I saw her face. <laughs> A surprise. <laughs> I don't put you in booties in a straitjacket if you're just freaked out. So who's in the mental hospital? Becca, Katie's friend. I think maybe she was into. It's not about that. It's oh. about the tape. Well, what was on the tape? I hadn't seen it, obviously. But Katie told you she saw this tape. Not Katie. You heard it from who? She was dating this guy, Josh. Supposedly he killed himself the same night that Katie died. Oh no. 
little grown man is going to go explore and investigate. Are you having a vision? Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> we shouldn't be in our room. It's not our room anymore. Stop saying cryptic and creepy things like that, little grown man. Even if they're true, it's very disturbing coming out of your little mouth. Weirdo shit. No! <laughs> 10 p.m. Oh, four dead. 10 p.m. I'm telling you, it's prick. Nice alliteration, huh? You're fired. No, I'm not. Cooking too good a story. She sued you like a raccoon in her trash cans. <laughs> okay, so what's the time? It is quite dark-sided. Hi. I was wondering if you'd remember someone from a week ago. I think they stayed here a night or so. Yeah, they were in cabin 12. Number of complaints at the TV mainly. That's why we bought tape players for videos. Mostly they're hand-me-downs left by other guests. Anyway. Take cabin 12. It's not that it's not pretty out there, but quite creepy. This is giving biblical for sure. I wouldn't want to sleep next to it. Oh, oh it's the ring. <gasps> yeah! ah! I would ugh, you could uh uh stop watching it. Just stop. Why is that centipede so big? Why is that goat limping? Eyeball? No. Fingers A mad lady. A chair spinning. A ladder to nowhere. <laughs> Is she about the Ophelia? Oh, goodness. What? So now you're cursed. You have the curse. You are, the curse has been put upon you. Why does it sound like a child? What are you running out there to see? <laughs> There's a little girl giggling on a cell phone. Look at little grown man having to make his own lunch. Go to school. Look at little grown man having to take himself to school. What the fuck? Who is that? Pretty cool effect. Oh. Take my picture. Are you gonna look at me at least? Is that your baby daddy? The same camera? No. <gasps> so, what do you think? That you're been cursed! Oh, I thought you said this was about a tape. Can you not put two and two together, dum-dum? Do you not have a smarter man you can call? Thinking maybe you shouldn't see it. <laughs> no, I should know more about it first. Right. Four kids are dead, Noah. Not from watching a videotape. Oh, show it to me. You really can't know what the connection is. <laughs> you better not be little grown man's daddy, because then he will truly be parentless. He didn't acknowledge you as a father, though. <laughs> it was a very student film. I'm sure it's a lot scarier at night. Listen, Virgin River, that thing is gonna be the death of me. You get that? No, that's for you. It's your death call. I'm not taking another one. That day didn't scare you. No, not really. Sorry. Four people are dead. Yeah, but like I said, not from Four watching Four people who watched it. Come on, we watched it. We're hanging. It takes a week. Did you say that I'm gullible? No, ain't much of a dresser. Who made it? Where'd it come from? Make me a copy, see what I can do. Make me a copy, so y'all just gonna be showing it around town? Distributing death? Irresponsible. <laughs>
I don't want to know. <laughs> That's the approach you should have taken from get, girl. <laughs> gonna watch it over and over and why so close it's bad for your eyeballs <gasps> girl the countdown is on the numbers are all screwed up same problem got copied I guess it's impossible can you pretend for one minute that I don't read Video Geek magazine? Control Trek could tell us where it came from, but to not have one, I mean, that's like being born without fingerprints. Then how did this get recorded? I don't know. Bitches be born without fingerprints? If they have no hands, it's done. You should be able to see the camera hand. There's something there. No, I'm going to stretch the alignment. Okay, yeah, keep going. No, 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 let me do it. Come on. Why do you want to do it? You already said you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I need the cameras. Just friend. Rachel Keller. Oh, okay. She writes for the PI. Rachel. It's not your baby daddy. I'm not even here. Rachel is researching this story. You know, I'm late. Like, should go. <laughs> like, you really want everybody to see it and die. <laughs> She's trying to save lives. You taking the tape? I don't want her to see it. Whoa, you don't want her to see it. What about me seeing it? I told you not to look, dummy. I did have a problem. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to get all worked up over some high school rumor. Anybody asking you to get worked up? But a lot of people are dead, so maybe put on your thinking think brain. This is the part where I say your flake never finishes anything. And you say I'm an obsessive bitch. Then I storm out, kicking myself for ever thinking that you could just grow up. But <laughs> literally, he seems like a child. <gasps> the ladder. And you just walked under it. A ladder to nowhere. Ugh. Will you see all the images before your death? <gasps> I did get a chill. Ooh. Don't climb it. Bad luck. You don't need that. She already walked under it. <laughs> but you're right, sir. She don't need it. Becca, how did she die? I need to know. And you will. She just said... Show you what it is. It's quite bleak. What are we watching? Home movies or something? Girl, you don't need to see. I'd really rather watch them alone. Whatever. Save them pigtails. You do not want to die screaming. A lighthouse. The devil, the devil, the devil himself. You need to start making preparations for your son. Fuck finding out what this is. <laughs> Do you have life insurance? Get a policy now. <laughs> Do you have a guardian lined up? You don't have time for a vacation. Somebody's gonna need to raise your son in three days. I was that bitch that was brushing her hair. Who are you and why did you wear black to the white party? Hmm. Oh. Girl, look at you making a mess. Whose papers did you just destroy? You were doing that? You take a double life, say something. You're gonna die. My cousin was two packs a day. Oh. Use the patch. Girl! <laughs> Creepy sis! But since he's annoying, I'll allow it. Ah, oh, look at your face all distorted, you dead man. Are you a demon? That's what I'd be asking if I were her. I have to go upstate to do the story. I need you to watch Aiden for me. Rachel, I don't know. Girl, why are you choking? Still. No. Uh-uh. Oh, I hate when people pull shit out of their throat in scary movies. Stop! 
Oh, stop it. Oh, stop. Please stop, stop, stop. This is really fucking me up. I hate this. It's a string? Why is it so long? Oh, it's a lead. From the telephone? What was he doing? Oh, is that that horse bitch? Oh, here in the front. The arm is rotting. The whole thing was a nightmare or what? Oh, the imprint of a demon. Where's your son? He's probably cooking breakfast for y'all. You know he's grown. He's probably laying out your outfit for the day, packing your lunch. No! No! Why, baby? Why? Why? I can't sleep. So you just put on the creepiest fucking thing you could find? Why would you play that? Call you Rachel. Stay alone! Rachel. I need to talk to a kid. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't feel bad for him because he's stupid. I never feel bad for a naysayer. He watched the tape. Who, who was it? Our son. Oh, he is the baby daddy! Wow, y'all's whole bloodline just got wiped out. Well, I guess you still have your sister and her husband, but they lost their daughter, so that's probably the end of the family line. Unfortunate. I've seen you. I'm in the yard at school. You wish I was around more? No. <laughs> you wanna be around more? Like, yeah, asshole. You want me to beg? Rachel and I were... No. Mom told me that to you. I don't think I'd make a good father. Clearly, you aren't making a good father. Maybe it's because my own is... You're not a father. Disappointment. Boo hoo. Don't say this shit to your young kid, idiot. Go to therapy. I don't want anyone else to do it either. She just wants me to be alone. Be your father. It's He's smarter than you. Yeah, it is. You must be really embarrassed. Because <laughs> you can't feel pride since you have nothing to do with it. Time to go, mister. You're upset to make work for you. We should go to the island together. It's Tuesday, no one. Only have one day left. I need you to go to the hospital and find out as much as you can about Anna. The image is on the tape will leave us somewhere. I think before you die, you see the ring. Mm. So risky to split up when you only have one day to live. But I guess you got ground to cover and time is limited. Oh, she had a daughter. That's the bitch that smashed you. Hey, you. Why are there horses on there? Why would you stick your hand in there and bother a horse you don't know? No, that horse can sense that you have a demon around you. Get, leave that horse alone. The horses know a lot. If I saw that horse freaking out, I would know she was either evil or evil adjacent. I'm not gonna hurt you. Get the fuck away from that animal. Somebody? How is your presence doing anything but disturbing the horse? That horse is booking it to get away from her. <gasps> what if he just jumps into the water? <gasps> oh. oh god. Oh my god. Oh, that's so dark sided. That horse died because you wouldn't leave it the fuck alone. You are responsible for the death of that horse, bitch. What are y'all hoping to see? There's literally no way for you to save that animal. What kind of stupid fucking father would let his daughter see that? <sighs> Did you see the records for a patient named Anna Morgan? We're a mental health facility. Yeah, like that's all you came in with? Well, she's been dead 24 years. I don't think she'll mind. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's impossible. I've been up there. Nice try. Record rooms are downstairs, guy. Oh, his whole point was to break in? Sure, 
No, that's actually you. Sorry, but he does not appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. I'm disgusted by this man. <laughs> Debbie Daddy, naysaying the mother of your child. Quite useless until your own life is on the line. You just saw the fly and the leads. And she just saw the horse blood water. Y'all really ticking them off the list. <laughs> That's beautiful, Lee Dark. <laughs> Hello? Wow. I would think this is a nice place to live if I didn't know the devil was lurking. But it is eerie. Ugh. Why do you need a fence? Do y'all have livestock? Me, Morgan. My name's Rachel Keller. I'm a writer with the Seattle PI. Oh. You want to know about the horses? It's Logan Roy. Our uh, horses in general, just those that go strange. Most put themselves down. They drown. Just broke through the fences and ran to the shore. So they went crazy. It would seem so, yes. Or maybe they just sense things before leaving. That is the absolute truth. So where are your horses now? I don't breed anymore. I guess he wouldn't. Right. Not after what happened. I wouldn't want to see that shit again. That must have been hard on both of you. Mm -mm. You want to tell me what's really on your mind? Do you know what this is? Why are you looking like a that? message from your wife. She's right there in that room. Oh, are you going to hook me? The lighthouse. Where did you get that? Delta Mountain Inn. Sir, tell me about it. I got a lot of work to do today. A lot of acres out there. <sighs> You're not even curious? He knows what's on there. Look at how he's acting. <laughs> Girl. Mr. Morgan. I can't help you. Where's your daughter? Maybe she could help. I don't have a daughter. Uh-oh. What is it with reporters? We take one person's tragedy and force the world to experience it. It's spread it like sickness. <sighs> you didn't even mention how your own life is at risk. I mean, I wouldn't say I think your demon wife put a hex on me, but I would say something is afoot in my own life after I witnessed this shit. Have you heard about that? <laughs> you got any answers? He had another premonition. Uh That's a thick file. What the hell? Ooh. What the hell? What are these from? What is thermography? saw that I would definitely have my son exercised. Why did you draw that house? So he is being visited by the daughter or the horse lady? The daughter. She talks to you? She doesn't like it in the ball. Horses keep her up at night. She lives in a dark place now. Yeah she can't still live in the barn because there's no horses. The seeds drying up. Is it because God has left this place? These are the minutes of your life taken away. What are we here for? Do you have time for this? Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Grasnick. Have you lived here long? Born and raised. Then you know the Morgans and their daughter. What's this about? I don't know how to say this, but I'm seeing things in my head, images, and so is my son. It's because of that girl. Why do y'all all look like you know what I'm talking about? I say that in a long time. Huh? They tried hard for years, but sometimes it's just not meant to be. Then one winter they went away. They came back. It was with Samara. Adopted, they said. Said the mother died of complications. But they had their baby. They had their horses. Everything was fine. Okay. So Anna started coming to see me. Said she was suffering visions. Horrible things. A demon. Been burned inside her. That the girl put them there. Oh, Lord. Was there anything wrong with her? I mean, medically? I mean, whatever you mean. <laughs> it could be a demon. It could be the brain. Yeah. Who knows? I referred them to Eola Psychiatric since that girl's been gone. Things have been better. You say you're the patient's father, right? Yep. Richard Morgan. Oh. Does it say who, who was the last person who watched it? Yeah. 
It was you. You're a piece of shit. This is what I was saying about y'all detectiving separately. Quite dangerous. I know it's nighttime and she's what? Going back to this house. Hello? Mr. Morgan? Sir. What right do you have, bitch? He already didn't want to deal with you. And it's very spook, spook, spooky house. You're gonna go through his things? You don't even know where he is, girl. <laughs> girl, you have so few of the images left. You have seen almost all of them. That's the tape, he has it. What is it that's keeping you awake? You must sleep sometime. Let's talk about the pictures. How did you make them? Y'all don't even know where those came from? How did you make these pictures? I don't make them. Okay. I see them. Elaborate, baby girl. They just are. Samara? I love my mommy. Mm. Yes, you do. But you don't want to hurt her anymore, now do you? You don't want to hurt anyone. But I do, and I'm sorry. Pooh! Um, babe. You won't stop. He's going to leave me here. They just want to help you. Not daddy. Eee. Oh my god, look at him. He wants me to go away. He doesn't know. He oh. doesn't know what? Samara? Oh! Woo! What did you do to her? Really, girl? That's your concern right now? She was your daughter! This man is willing to kill or harm his child and he just beat you upside you the head. Samara, didn't you? Why are you, you killed her when your wife My wife died? was not supposed to have a child! Are you responsible for the miscarriages? Uh, are you a devil? Are you a demon? What's going on? What is all of this, sir? Girl, get out that water. Oh, Christ. This thing should never stop. Oh. He is done with this life. I have to stop her. If I don't, my son will die. Yes. Great time, baby daddy. <laughs> Look, I just witnessed a suicide. It is definitely not okay. He told me my son was gonna die. <laughs> mm. That is a very tall ladder. Climbing this beanstalk to creepy town? I don't think so. You wouldn't catch me doing it. Hella disturbing. He kept her here. Her mother was going crazy. Morgan blamed the child. Rachel. Ooh. There's something in here. Looks like it's etched into the wood. Mm. Hellfire, it's that tree. Y'all be careful and don't back right off that damn ledge. I've seen this tree before. Yeah, it was on the tape. It's at the mountainside. I've been there. <laughs> Your last day, girl. So what, are you gonna chop down this tree and hope it breaks the curse? I don't think you're gonna be able to Johnny Appleseed your way into survival. But I wish you well. The sun came through the leaves and lit them up like it was on fire. Right when I watched the tape. That was a week ago. You're gonna die without even seeing your son again? That's crazy, girl. Back to where we started from. Okay, there's a reason that we're here. What? I don't know, okay? There's something <laughs> in this room. I found it in this cellar. What? What? What's that devilry? Yuck. Definitely looks touched by Satan. Bare finger? I guess you are gonna die today. Doesn't really matter. Will she die as the sun sets? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> what is it? Something wet. It looked rotted. The well. Ugh. Who would build a cabin right over a well like that? That is so creepy. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. Straight to hell, I'm sure. TV's in here glitching. 
That heat wave is about to come get you, girl. Yuck. Anyone who's down there couldn't possibly be alive. So, trying to discover whether or not there is a ghost demon girl in the well. <laughs> That's a job for some other bitch. Because <gasps> it could be me. Water still. I would have much rather just been dry and I just hit the bottom and died. Cause what the fuck are you gonna do now? I'm all right. Oh, I can see your nipples. That water must be freezing. You'll go home. I would not look around. I would put my back against the wall, close my eyes, and wait. What are those scratch marks? What is that? Blood? What is that? Fingernails? What the fuck? Don't investigate any further. Ew, it is. It's a fingernail. <laughs> I don't want to see that again. Noah? Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs> He's such a dodo. I'm sorry. No! What, what, what? You feel something on your leg? <laughs> no, it's the hair, stop! Get, get your hand out. Just don't look, don't look anymore. Don't investigate, stop, stop right now. Stop where you are. <laughs> She's got you. The ring. It's the next day, did you die? Oh, it's the before times. Why is she dressed like it's 1899? You murdered your own kid because you were going nuts? All I wanted was you. No wonder she cursed your ass! Oh. oh, it disappeared. Oh, is she gonna let you live now that you know the truth? You can disseminate it to the public. Ugh. Oh, her true rotted face. Oh, put that corpse down, please. I'm sorry, but God. Answer him. He thinks you're dead down there. Girl, please say something. I'm here. We're gonna bury her next week. I hope that's enough. It's over. We don't know nothing. I mean, I guess you're still alive, so that's a good sign. She was a sick bitch. She just wanted to be heard. I'm gonna go home. Girl, I'm glad you're able to. I really didn't think you were gonna make it through the film. <laughs> I imagine we sat down a while all alone like that. Did she live for seven days? How long did you survive? Oh, yeah. So probably seven days. That's why. Seven days. You could survive for seven days. Theoretically, it seems like you should be able to survive longer than that because you have water to drink and you would have to starve to death. But I guess if it was cold, maybe have a therm- Anyway, ugh, it's fucked up. She was a child. Why is he sleeping on the floor like that? <laughs> Who is the babysitter? Get my child off the floor. <laughs> and now you have to tell your sister that her daughter was killed by the haunting of a child who was murdered by her psycho mama. Has this tragedy made y'all a family though? <laughs> yes, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Go Personally, I would not feel comfortable separating at this juncture. <laughs> There's still a lot we don't know about the repercussions of the curse. Rachel? What time is it? Really? Time to see a therapist, my love. We've been through too much to just what carry on. Not today. Satan. <laughs> what happened to the girl? Is she still in the dark place? <sighs> Set her free. You helped her? Yeah. Should we not have? Why did you do that? You weren't supposed to help her. What the fuck?
fuck? Why didn't you mention that? Look at he's burned. Why? Don't you understand, Rachel? No, I don't. She never sleeps. What the fuck? Why is he specifically tuned into it? Oh, there's your death. You were spared for helping her? I don't understand. Why did you get to live then, girl? Oh, no, His nosebleed is coming. Oh, deep. Are you dead already? Hair first. Creepy. I've seen a lot of things. I've never seen a bitch walk into a room hair first. Very upsetting. Pick up the goddamn phone. Are you driving the wrong way down a one way? Killing people on the road won't solve your issue. Now we knew Noah wasn't long for this world regardless. Ugh. Why is he getting a... Ooh, it's kind of sending a chill through my spine. Why is he getting a face-to-face -face death? Or a face-to-hair death? Oh, with those rotted feet tracking wetty footprints all over the studio. Grizzled. Where's the body? Oh, it's in that chair. Ooh, girl, you're about to have to see the father of your child fully contorted in the face. I wouldn't look. I don't want to see. Thank you for not making us see. Girl, you're just gonna let her go up and find him like that? <laughs> you're not gonna say anything? I don't understand. Why are you being Tony Collette's son from Hereditary? What's the point in not mentioning it? You didn't call anybody or do anything? Go to your room! <laughs> no! Why are you yelling at him about it? My question as well. How can you get your son shrouded in that blood as well? Give him a baptismal. Because you made a copy. Disseminating her terrors. It's going to keep going, isn't it? She will never stop. You're gonna be okay. Rachel is taking a better them than you approach. <laughs> That's fucked up. The person to show it to. What happens to them? They die unless they show it to someone, and then they die unless they show it to someone. What do we do when we've all seen it? not my concern <laughs> oh that's fucked up i can't say i'm totally against her approach because she's trying to save her son but disgusting girl <laughs> wow it definitely was spooky scary i'll say this though bless the 2002 of it all for keeping it from going too far into wreck my psyche territory <laughs> I can always look at like these older films and feel at least a little bit of separation from the reality that they're living in. I would never even have my hands on a VHS tape, so that's a y'all problem. <laughs> Another fun installment though. Festive in its ability to induce adrenaline, if not Christmas -y. I did have fun watching it. I'm very interested to hear what y'all have to say. And more than anything, I'm happy to laugh right now. I am literally gonna put on Scary Movie and I am gonna giggle giggle cackle and chuckle because that's what i need and i'm happy to end my night on that and not the twisted faces of samara's victims or her wet wet well hair <laughs> i love y'all talk to me in the comments and i will see y'all soon <laughs>